The helicopter tower was released yesterday in TDX, and it is the second most expensive tower in the game, costing an absurd amount of 82,000 gold. But with such an absurd cost, surely it is worth it, right? Among the likes of the Golden Juggernaut Warship? Let's answer that question. This tower costs 2,200 to place down, meaning you can place it pretty early on in events or endless mode, and it does pretty decent in that early game scenario. In base game modes like Expert though, you are probably only using this tower in the mid to end game. Now first thing let's get out of the way, the top path is definitely the best path for this tower. Especially after they added the ignore explosive resistance property to the max level, it's one of the few explosive towers to deal full damage to explosive resistance, these other towers being the artillery, mine layer, and golden mine layer. There is the catch that this is only for its main 1000 DPS cannon, so it does miss out on an extra 800 DPS in this ignore explosive resistance property, but still, a really good feature to have. The attack elo is an amazing tower for the mid game, with infinite range, splash damage, and general DPS. It can make expert runs a walk in the park, and it's also really good for maps with a minimal amount of placement space. As long as you know how to work around explosive and bullet resistance at times when it's only 3-2 and 4-2, this is going to be a huge help to you in modes like expert mode. Now the flaw that comes with this tower however, is the placement limit. It only has a placement limit of 8, because if you could place any more, there would be performance issues apparently. This makes its endless mode potential a lot worse compared to its base game mode potential. Now if that line sounds familiar, then you may be thinking about how the Z tower struggles from that exact same issue. And that reminds me, the sort of usage niche of this tower is really similar to the Z. A beast at mid game, a decent sub DPS at late game, while also having map range, but once you reach the placement limit for either of them, that's all you can do thanks to the performance issues. So let's just get back to the point anyway. Is this tower worth 83,000 gold? Well, it depends. If most of the time you are playing extra mode and you want to do harder maps, I honestly would say this is a really good option for you. It just dominates that field. If you play on this more often, however, there are most definitely better options to spend your gold on, like Warship or Slammer or XWM Turret. Even if XWM and Slammer were recently nerfed, they are still awesome options for modes like Endless Mode. So there's your answer. Sometimes this is worth it, sometimes it's not, just depends on what you do more often. So. Thank you for watching, peace out guys, have a good day.